final discipline of Stoicism, which is the discipline of the will. Discipline of perception is how you look at things. Discipline of action is how you, how you act on things. And then finally, what do you do with the things that you cannot change? Um, what do you do with the, the unfortunate or incredibly difficult things that we face in life? So the story I like with this is Thomas Edison. He's an old man in, in the early 1900s. He's worked all day at his laboratory. He's built a magnificent workshop in, in New Jersey. And he sits down to dinner with his family and a man rushes in. And he, he informs him that the factory is on fire. And and so Edison, he rushes to the scene, and, and, and indeed he finds that his life work has quite literally gone up in flames. And not only uh, gone up in flames, but because of the weird chemicals that he stored in this facility, it's this serene, surreal fire, right? So it's, it's red and blue and green and all these strange flames. And what Edison says is, is something that sticks with me. He, he finds his son there, his son is sort of shell-shocked, standing there looking at, you know, basically the family's wealth um, going up in smoke. And, and Edison, he looks at him and he says, go get your mother and all her friends. They'll never see a fire like this again. And he hadn't lost his mind. He realized in 1907, I believe, you know, a fire truck would have been a bucket of water pulled by a horse and on a wagon, right? So the, the fire cannot be put out. They have to let it run its course, essentially. But, but what Edison does control is how he's going to respond to this. And, and his response isn't just uh, to laugh at it. He's not the old man laughing at, at, this, at this obscene sight. But, but this invigorates him. As he tells a reporter the next day, I've been through a lot of things like this. It prevents a man from being inflicted with ennui. And, and what he meant was, look, I'm old and successful. I, I've lost that drive or urgency, but this gives me some purpose. I, I can use this uh, to find energy and enthusiasm. And that's, in fact, what happens. He borrows a million dollars from Henry Ford and he rebuilds his factory and he's up and working again in, in, in less than six weeks. And as Seneca says, anger always outlasts hurt. Would anyone think it normal to return a kick to a mule or to bite a dog? Cleanthes is another Stoic. He's saying the fates guide the person who accepts them and hinder the person who resists them. And so this is Stoicism, perception, action, will. Um, and I'll leave you, if you forget everything I said in every single story, I'll, I'll leave you with one final quote from Marcus Aurelius, which I think sums this up. And it's a, it's a quote I, I try to read at least once a day. He says, objective judgment now at this very moment, that's the discipline of perception, unselfish action, now at this very moment, that's the discipline of action, willing acceptance, now at this very moment, of all external events, that is all you need. So thank you very much for having me. It's been wonderful. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please click subscribe below for more content from us at Daily Stoic.